Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, the prosecution will prove that on the night of January 16th, 1974, the defendant did murder his wife by injecting a lethal dose of morphine into her bloodstream. That he did so knowing full well the consequences of his act and that it was preconceived, making him guilty of murder in the first degree. Your Honor, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, the defense will prove that on January 14, 1974, the defendant, Dr. Paul Michael Harrelson, was functioning in a state of what we call diminished capacity. That the prolonged illness of his wife had not only sapped Dr. Harrelson's physical strength, but had weighed so heavily on his mind that he actually did not know what he was doing, and thus cannot be found guilty as charged. Your Honor, the prosecution calls the coroner for San Leone County. Sam, I don't quite understand. Uh, sir, diminished capacity is a legal term that allows us uh, the best chance that I feel we have of you beating a first-degree murder charge. Does that mean that, that what I did was wrong, but that I wasn't really responsible? Well, uh... Then we're not saying it was right. Why? Go ahead, Sam. Tell it. Please tell the court, as coroner of this county, what, in your opinion, was the prime cause of death. Because I'm not sure in my heart if it was right. And I sense in your heart, sir. You don't know either. 